वीडियो स्टार्ट साई सिटी रे दिस समर आई विजिटेड कश्मीर विद माय फैमिली वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल प्लेसेस ऑन अर्थ बट टू बी ऑनेस्ट दिस टाइम द ट्रैवल टू कश्मीर टॉट अ फ्यू थिंग्स अबाउट ट्रैवल इन लाइफ um of course kashmir is extremely beautiful its natural beauty is compared to nothing but i guess we had a few ups and downs in the trips uh we got food poisoning and then all of us fell sick for a day or two um we also had a few bad experiences with local horse uh men <laughs> um but apart from that Kashmir was a wonderful experience for my family and I um and of course uh, I do I cannot uh, to be honest in the background of this beautiful valley I cannot ignore the fact um I cannot ignore the presence of the army uh, which is um terrifying to be honest um I hope uh, the people of Kashmir find peace in their hearts some day uh, because it's such a beautiful place such a beautiful such beautiful people such beautiful culture and nature um one thing i noticed is that it's extremely uh, touristy and crowded of course tourism is required for um the economy of the place um, but i hope that tourists respect these places and do not um overpopulate overcrowd and pollute these places because kashmir especially is so beautiful and we do not want to lose such a beautiful place think a few things that i did not know as an outsider that i was ignorant about or i was not aware about was of course the political climate of kashmir and especially the fact that uh, prepaid um, sim cards do not work so we had to buy postpaid uh, sim cards in kashmir itself uh, of course if you have a postpaid sim card that um, that is activated that i think that will work Uh, but no prepaid sim cards work in kashmir um also in a few places uh, the private taxis do not work um they have local unions where they have their own taxis and even horseback ride riding opportunities or whatever you can you might want to call it um so these are some of the things that i learned to in my trip to kashmir this time Recently I discovered this amazing poet called Nasim Safai I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly uh, but um, she was the first Kashmiri woman to meet, to win the Sahitya uh, Academy award um, Nasim is one of the most popular contemporary Kashmiri poets her poems have been translated in English German Italian Korean um urdu can kannada tamil marathi and telugu and she rose to fame with her poetry uh, which spoke of the kashmir atrocities from a women's perspective uh, her poetic style is one of that combines honesty with nostalgia and always manages to leave an impression on those who read it uh, this is something that i picked up from google actually and i would like to read uh, one of her poems um and it goes such as i asked the rose 
where it I asked the rose where is your scent it said the autumn took it away I asked the spring why the lines on your forehead it said for your wounds have been salted so I left the garden that once bloomed and since then I wander aimless My mother and I, we were very excited to wear these traditional Kashmiri clothes and take pictures. Um, this is me here trying to find a peaceful moment. But I think in touristy places when it's so crowded uh, and there are a lot of local hawkers and uh, people who come up to you constantly to sell things, to take pictures with their goats, especially in Kashmir, this is something very unique that I have noticed that people come up with their goats and pigeons and they want you to take photos with their pets and in return they want money. Um, and this is me here just trying to find a peaceful moment in between the chaos. Um, and to be honest, I truly feel that Kashmir should be preserved and the, because of the natural beauty that it has to offer.